Hi, welcome to this video. We'll look at configuring the Power Online reviews. Now, just a reminder, you can see here a typical review form, and just on the side here in the sidebar, you can see the review testimonials being displayed. And as I said, everything in here is completely configurable, and I'll just go through that now. So to configure it, you need to go into the admin panel, go to online reviews and manage forms, and your first option is to choose the main form type. So this is to make sure it fits in with your particular theme. Most of the time, the version two default form will probably be best. Uh, there's a version one default form because obviously there was a version one to this plugin and people, some people might want to retain their particular settings. There's a legacy form and a single column form. So they, they all look slightly different and work slightly differently. So you know, you choose the best for your particular theme. Now, as I said, when somebody creates a review, you can be notified by email. So you've got the option here to add that email address, whichever one you want to, to be notified to. And you can decide whether you get notification of either bad reviews or good reviews or both. Also, there's an option to set up the response email. So the default email that comes up when you click the link within the manage feedback that to send to customers or to send to people who have created reviews and you want to respond to them, then you can set up a default email subject. And of course, you can set up the email text that you want. This, of course, is eligible in your particular email handler that you use because that's what will open up by default. But this will give you a default uh, mail structure for that. OK, when you're displaying the reviews, we have the option to display up to a max of 10 reviews. We get anything between one and 10 reviews. And for each of those 10 reviews, there is an image so we can upload a particular image. Now, of course, that would you know, if you're a plumber site, you might want to have some plumbing related images. If you're a dentist, then you maybe want some dental related images, etc. It's entirely up to you how you want to set up these images. The way it works is, is that your views, your reviews, sorry, are displayed in reverse order. So it's your last 10. So the first one will get the last image, we'll get the number 10 image and your next one to be displayed will get the number nine image. So for instance, if you only set uh, five on here, then you need to fill in the images six to 10 because it's the last five images that will be displayed with the last five reviews. Okay, also for the review display, uh, the little box at the top, the way we showed it originally, let's have a look, that's a single view. So we just see one and when we open it up, we see more. So if you want to change that, so this is the multiple reviews and this is a single review piece. So in here, you can change the background color for the single reviews, the background color for the multiple reviews. You can change the image border and that is the border around the whole of this and the border around the images themselves. So you can select the color for that. You can also select the color for the name text and the color for the main text. And you've got the image style of flat or shadow. So the images will either pop up or they'll be flat. They're currently flat. I'm going to change those to shadow so you can see that in a moment. Then the first review form. So this is the first review form that selects the stars. You've got some default stuff. You can put the main image in there. So then one, I've got a little deli image in there at the moment. Then you could put a title and of course the default text. And for that form, you can set the background color, the submit button background color, and the submit button text color. Specifically for the follow-up review form, and this is the third-party follow-up review form that sends you off to, as a Yelp or TripAdvisor or whatever, you need to set up up to a maximum of five, although I probably recommend two or three at most, and uh, enable the display of those. So you can actually, you'll need in for each one, you'll need a, a name, that's just for your own reference. Then you'll need the logo, so the actual image that you want to put on it. So that's probably going to be a, a Google Plus logo, for instance, if it's going to be a Google Plus link. And then, of course, the URL that takes you directly to the review for your particular business. So if it's, if it's a Yelp or a Google Plus, you go to your Google Plus site or go to your part of Yelp that has your business on it and get the link that allows you to put that review in. You drop that in here. For this to work and display correctly, you will need at least one of these completely filled. So one of these must have display, a URL, a logo, and a name in. Otherwise, it won't display. 
Okay, as I say, you go up to five, you can add into there and you can select whether you display them or not. We've got a review text for the good for the good form or for the good review form. So if you give a good review, it will give a text, and this is where it is. It says thanks for a great rating. Please tell the world about it. It only takes 15 seconds. Uh, you can change that, of course, to whatever you want. And similarly below that, you have a text for the bad review. So if you've done a bad review, we said here yeah, we are very sorry. We do not seem to have delivered the level of service you would like. So I say completely changeable. Now remember, you can have. Good reviews either grabbed locally or sent to third-party reviewers. So if you want them sent to third-party reviewers, we've got this create good reviews locally, yes or no. So obviously no, they will go to third-party reviews like Yelp or Google Plus. Or if we go yes, which I'll click now, that will ask for them locally and get the review in here and store that locally. You can of course set the what I call the good rating. So that means that how many stars you consider good. In general, that was probably going to be a four star and five stars are good. So four and above is good, and one, two, and three, or even zero would be a poor review. And and separately for the good and bad review forms, you can actually set the background color, submit button, and the submit text similarly to you can with the first form. But generally, you probably want those to be the same colors. And also for all the forms and the reviews as well, you can change the style from square to rounded corners. Again, this is to fit in with the style of your site. If you've got a kind of uh, a square site, if you like, you can select square corners. If you've got a rounded site or you like that style, you can select round. So I've selected round at the moment and I'll save all those settings. And we'll just go back and have a little look because I've changed a couple of settings there and you can see what's going on. So I just refresh this page. You can see a couple of things have happened here. We've changed our styling to round corners. So now everything appears to be rounded, similarly the displays. And also the images here now kind of pop out. So these are uh, shadowed instead of being flat. So this particular style of theme we've got here is a flat theme. I would probably put a flat display here, but your theme may be somewhat different. And therefore you can change these things to obviously change the style. And as I said, all these colors can be changed. The images can be changed. The text colors can be changed, etc. So everything is 100% configurable to match your exact site requirements.